Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. All right. Okay. Um, kailangan natin ng energy kasi alam ko nag, uh, we had a sumptuous lunch. Um, magandang tanghali ulit. Ako si Third Bagro from Tiwala. Um, and in the next 10 minutes, um, we'd like to provide our thoughts on blockchain and AI use in government. Um, as was mentioned earlier, I was also ex-government. So sa mga kasama ko, yung mga nasa government dito, hello, and congratulations. Um, I'd, we'd like to first thank the Department of Science and Technology, uh, particularly the ASTI for having Tiwala uh, join this important event. Um, as you would as you would know later, meron kaming very close relationship with go with government with DOST. All right. So, what is Tiwala? So, Tiwala is a document intelligence solution. Um, we provide digital signatures um, for government and the private sector. Um, we are funded by the DOST, p uh, in 2022, uh, and we have uh, we have been. Uh, um, incubated by Idea Space, Cubo, and one a couple of uh, uh, of accolades in our past uh, in our in our past three years of existence. So we founded the startup in 2020, but but uh, we incorporated only in 2021. So I'd like to recognize also uh, Paul Quinet, who is our Chief Technology Officer, who is here joining us today. All right. We all say that we are in a digital world. That we live in a digital world. Tama ba yon? Do we hear that? Diba? We hear that because we, we experience that. We talk, to our, to, we, we talk to our relatives and friends online. We always have our phones um, in, at the back of our pockets bago matulog, etc. So we're online. But still, the world operates on paper. Everything that we do, whether in government or in the private sector, always seems to end in some paper that you either have to sign physically or have notarized. Tama ba? Yes. And it's such a pain, hindi ba? In a digital world, we still have processes that are bound to paper, which is a great paradox of our time, if you ask me. Um, and whether in the digital space or in the, in the real world, Parang the foundation of every interaction is trust. And you build that trust by showing the other person that first, you are the person you represent. Diba? Hindi ka naman pwedeng makipag-deal with someone who is not, um, who is not, uh, who, who is uh, standing in for some other person. Diba? So, but how do you do this? In the real world, you just check on their faces. Diba? You look at their IDs. Um, pero that is a, that poses a big challenge when it's in the digital in the digital form already. In fact, when you look at documents uh, ngayon, when you're given a, a document for you to sign, titignan mo is this the original na alter ba to? Sino ba talaga ang nag-sign nito? And usually, kapag may document na naki, pag may nakita kang document, maghahanap ka ng seal. Or if it's wet signed, kakapain mo yung ano niya, kakapain mo yung pirma niya kung siya ba talaga yung pumirma, you will compare that with other documents, etc. And these challenges are being encountered now using, using uh, paper documents, pero these challenges are exponentially, um, are exponentially more relevant now in the digital space. Kasi, as you know, scams abound. Hindi ba? Sino dito ang na-scam na? Ayun, mayroong nagtaas. Oh, marami na. Kahit na, kahit na well-educated ka, marami pa rin na na-fall sa scam. Kasi magaling, magaling yung mga modus operandi. Di ba? So these challenges are exponentially greater because of the digital space. Kaya, you have digital signatures, electronic and digital signatures. So under the e-commerce law back in 2000, year 2000, almost 25 years ago, 
the law already provided that digital signatures are functionally equivalent with wet signatures, provided that they comply with Section 8 of the law. So, ito, Crash 101, uh, 101 session on the difference between electronic signatures and digital signatures. So, if you use your image, uh, the image of your signature on a document, cut and paste, di ba? and then send it via PDF, that's technically called an electronic signature. Okay? If you reply to someone's email and say, I agree, or if you click di ba, on an option saying yes, that's an electronic signature. But as you know, that is fraught with a lot of uncertainty and risk. That's why the e-commerce law and, the, and other administrative issuances after that uh, um, mandated that we use digital signatures for specific documents. So digital signatures are secured by cryptography, they're tamper-proof, traceable, auditable, and are more legally and, uh, legally and court admissible. So we're not saying that hindi admissible si e-signature. They are, but it takes a little bit longer and uh, a, a more processes for them to be accepted by the court. Okay, so, so we've discussed how the world operates still on paper and how at present we are tra there, there are mechanisms for us to go digital through electronic signatures and digital signatures. Okay. But electronic and digital signatures aren't only used for document signing. So marami pang ibang use cases yan. As you know, um, dom domain validation. So pag may nakita kayo yung mga lock dun sa, ano ninyo, sa browser. So that's actually um, electronic uh, or digital trust uh, service that's being provided. Email security, code security. Of course, pag nag-download kayo sa sa uh, Google App Store, uh, sa, sa Play Store or sa App Store, um, yung codes na yan, meron din yung e-signature, may digital signature yan, to ensure that what you're downloading on your phone is something that is uh, validated by the creator and audited by the uh, by Play, uh, by Google or Apple. Um, digital identity, verifiable credentials, and of course, yung uh, DLT, or yung uh, forerunner of blockchain. Oh, there, are, uh, ver there are trust service providers all over the world, and that's what they're called. Diwala is considered a trust service provider. And these are some of them. So, um, kasama din ang Tiwala dito sa Cloud Signature Consortium. So, we're, Tiwala is the only... Filipino company that as of now is a member of the Cloud Signature Consortium, which is a group of around uh, 8,200 companies that are pushing for digitalization through the secure use of uh, document uh, digital signatures. Okay. Okay, so now we, we discussed yung e-signatures and digital signatures. Um, Malamang tinatanong nyo, ano yung kinalaman nung, uh, ano yung PNPKI and how is it different with what Tiwala is using? Sino dito ang merong PNPKI? From government, ayan, meron. So yung PNPKI, that is, uh, so that's the Philippine National Public Key Infrastructure um, System that is under the DICT. Oh, five minutes, okay. Um... That, uh, that, are, that are used for signing government documents. Okay. Of course, there are challenges there. And um, more and more, uh, these challenges are becoming obvious to the users. Di ba mahirap gamitin, hindi pwedeng online signing, hindi pwedeng sabay-sabay, ang hirap ng pag-login, etc. And, and, and yung mga challenges na are addressed by existing technology like blockchain. Because of these things, uh, zero knowledge proof, uh, immutability, and yung security that it provides. So how how is blockchain used to secure documents? So this is something that's uh, this is a trivia that I'd like to share. Um, did you know that in 1991, there were two American uh, American uh, software engineers that created the blockchain for the first time, and the first use case of blockchain is actually 
time stamping documents. So there is a paper, a seminal 1991 paper by Stuart Haber and another person saying how um, uh, discussing how they are able to solve the problem of trust in the digital space by using blockchain um, and time stamping documents. So the very first case of distributed ledger technology is not cryptocurrency. Because cryptocurrency came in 1999 ba, or 2000, 2001. Something along those, uh, along, uh, no, dun sa dates na yun. So trivia, the first use of blockchain is actually in securing documents. And this is the same doc, and this is more or less the same, uh, the same uh, theory that we are uh, applying with our solutions now. So I won't go into much detail, but there are s multiple uses of blockchain uh, in government. Digital identity, electronic notarization, digital signature, digital apostille, education verification. This is something that we're already doing with the Philippine Science High School, by the way. Credentials verification, etc. Marami pa yan. Um, all digital documents that need to be signed, um, all that need verification, all these can be helped by blockchain. Diba? Kasi blockchain really is distributed trust. Ibig sabihin, it's a movement in the tech in the tech world na that veers away from the over centralized trust in the bigger and the biggest players so think about the biggest companies that are able to um, centralize the operations of all these smaller players because they have the wherewithal and the brand to support a particular solution. So blockchain tries to decentralize and democratize that by making sure that the technology will be available even to the smaller players at a fraction of a cost. And this is something that has been ongoing. So uh, maybe you can take a picture of this. This documents why uh, Philippine laws recognizes Philippine laws recognize electronic signatures since the year 2000 until today. And um, the use of blockchain technology is legal because according to the e-commerce law, um, there is no preference for one technology or another. So there's technology neutrality. And uh, these are blockchain uh, uses in uh, in other countries. So. You can see Estonia. I think Estonia is the model no, uh, for e-government and they're using blockchain. The Singapore is using uh, blockchain-based digital signatures um, among other countries. And AI, so I won't talk about this because you know that AI is a lot AI, but the, uh, Tiwala is using, or, is using AI and will be using AI more and more because as we said, we are a document intelligence company. So these are the things that uh, can, that the, the uh, use cases that can greatly improve the services of a document intelligence company. Imagine if you're, you're not just using Tiwala for signatures, but also to help you generate doc documents, contracts, make summaries, etc. Alright, so the future is intelligent and secure documents. Um, and we are, Tiwala is doing its uh, best to engage government so that we can push the boundaries further um, for, for the adoption of blockchain and AI. So we're working with the Supreme Court to finally release their rules on e-notarization, which is the missing piece in the legal framework digitalization of the country. Um, we're, again, we're working with ASTI. Um, they're helping us. Um, to, uh, to uh, improve our uh, uh, blockchain research and development. We are par partnering with uh, the, Nash the biggest cooperative uh, federation in the country so that they can digitize uh, even the cooperatives, uh, their cooperative members. Um, we are working with the housing sector. We, we worked with the Senate. Uh, in digitizing their HR processes. 
Um, again, we're the only Filipino company that's a member of the Cloud Signature Consortium. We're also partnering with the Arta um, because they're the main agency that is really pushing for di more digitalization. Um, basically, uh, when when and this is my final my final uh, uh, message. When we started Tiwala in year 2020, and I was still in government then, 10 years in. Um, our, our insight was whenever go, when, whenever we talk about digitalization, either in the government or the private sector, they talk about training, buying laptops, or buying expensive equipment. But no one's really talking about the final product of any government or private transaction, which is the document. And in management, diba sinasabi, you have to begin with the end in mind. And the end, the end goal is really that document. If that document is not digitized in a safe, secure, and affordable way, then no government digitalization effort will succeed. At Tiwala, we believe that we're able to solve that problem by making digitized um, uh, documents in a secure, affordable, and, sec uh, and, and easy way. And uh, with the support of uh, partners like ASTI, DOST, Pichard, uh, we believe that we will be able to make this happen. And uh, we'll, we, with digitalization in place, we can leapfrog the economy uh, at the soonest possible time. Maraming salamat po and thanks for your attention.